everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walking. I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Wind Focus banner. Why? Um, for various reasons, and I'm about to get into the video. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps me out a whole bunch. Comment, tell me about how you feel about the things I'm about to discuss, because I have a feeling it's a very, um uneasy subject for a lot of Dragalia Lost players. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more videos. Okay, so the Wind Focus Showcase. Let me just run real quick, because I want it to be clear. The units that are featured on it are Cecil, or Cecil. All right, Mana Caster Wind. Perfectly fine unit to feature. Uh, Lu uh, Yukata Lafna. I'm, I was trying to remember how you were saying Lafna? Something like that. Perfectly good unit. Okay. Put her on feature. Sure. Rose Queen. Okay. Pro new Wind Dragon, not a Gala, so you're kind of limited to what you got. But perfectly acceptable choice. I probably would have gone with Midgar Soma Zero over Rose Queen, but maybe more people have him compared to Rose Queen, so it's a good chance to pick her up. And plus, she's uh, she looks fantastic, so who wouldn't want her? Banner, perfectly okay. It's also wind focus, meaning it's only wind units. Not bad. You also get some free multis on it. That's not bad at all. Here's the part where everything goes bad. This banner has 11 days of free mul- Let me be sure, it's because it starts start on the 17th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, it's 11 because you do not get a multi on the 28th. 11 days of free multis on a win focus banner during anniversary. This is unacceptable. In no stretch of the imagination is this an okay banner to release for anniversary. I needed to complain about this because I really do feel like Dragalia is one of the very few games that um, listens to what players usually have to say. And I have already sent my feedback and I've already told them specifically, hey, in the future, can you not do this? Because I don't think it actually sets a right precedent. And this is why I'm talking about this. Now, I, I know a bunch of people are gonna be, because this is what it is with Dragalia. I feel like this is one of the very few banners where I can say with some definition, you cannot be okay with 11 days of this banner. No one wants 11 days of this banner. Not old players like me. Not new players. New players don't only want wind units. At a certain point, you want other units that are not wind. And I think middle of the road players don't want this. I think the only people who would legitimately would want this is that they have absolutely zero wind units and they badly want either Cecil or uh, Lafna here. I think that's the only people who badly want this. Um, I just don't think that this is a very good banner to release for anniversary. So let me just put this up here. So we're having free multis from the 26th to the 3rd and then a free 100 summon. I know you're saying like, hey, why are you complaining? At a certain point, isn't that they're already giving enough? And here's what I'm gonna say for this specifically because I think there are some things you can say about this banner one you're getting Eldwater sure you can also get Eldwater on a good banner I think that's fair right in general you want some Eldwater would you also would like to have some Eldwater and have maybe a better banner we have more chance to get stuff or do you only care about Eldwater because let me tell you if you're a player who only cares about Eldwater at this point I don't know what to do with you man even I I'm not at that point I have plenty of units, but I'm not at the point yet where I'm so desperate going like, man, I don't even summon for units anymore. I just want that sweet, sweet water. No one feels that way. So even if you did feel that way, you would still want the banner to be in some ways good. Here's the other thing I think it's bad. I think it's actually kind of misingenuous to Dragalia, because Dragalia is one of the best uh, gotchas out there, and I can say that pretty definitively. It is easily one of the most, like, um, free-to-play friendlies out there and I feel like when people see Dragalia players talking up Dragalia it's always like this amazing feeling and we feel it because we feel it on a day-to-day -day basis saying like I can't believe this game is so generous 
And when they do something like this, where for 11 days, out of the promise like this event duration, which is like plen plenty of free tenfolds, and it's uh, with 11, I believe that is 111 basically kind of dead, you wasting it on a terrible banner type of summons. I feel like that kind of makes some of the people who are just coming into Dragalia go like, oh, okay. So they're not oh, that generous, and it's like, N well, no. They just did a very dumb thing. They shouldn't have done this. So, like, we can... They they should have done a better job of doing this. Now, what could have been a better job? Well, one of two things. If you want to keep the focus uh, aspect, then I would say change it for the other elements. I don't understand why you don't just change out the banner, especially because this banner is not very good and the rates are low. And then I bet you could say maybe, oh, but what if you want to break pity? Yeah, but then what if you break pity and just lose and get a terrible wind unit? In which case, it's like, eh. Who cares? Just switch. Well, what if you want to go for a sparking? That's the one case I'll go, okay. It does make it harder to spark. Um, but also, I'm not really feeling it's all that. I don't think anyone's really sparking for these. It has to be like the 1% of dudes who cannot live without Cecil... Lafna and the Rose Queen. I think if you're one of those players, then yes, for sure, this is a great thing for you. But for the vast majority of people, I just don't see it. <sighs> Hold up, because I actually have a Word document. Let me get to my other points. Okay. I think the main reason I feel like so many people don't want to talk about specifically getting a bad banner with free stuff is that it makes the player base feel ungrateful. It makes it feel like I don't care what Dragalia does, when that is further from the truth. As someone who plays Dragalia, who loves Dragalia, that I have enough wherewithal to make a video specifically pointing out something I do not like can only mean that I think that in the case-by-case -case basis, I feel like Dragalia is usually doing pretty good. Even stuff that I personally would change, I'm not like up in arms like I've never done a video saying like they need to change summonings because for the most part a lot of people disagree with me and that's fine and I just keep it like that if Jigalia keeps giving out free currency then eh then it's kind of one of those things of like I guess they see the balance more as uh, we give so much free currency and we have a pretty decent pity system that can also be used to help out whales because it gives double I feel like we're giving plenty and I'm like okay Fair enough. You did just, you are basically releasing a buttload of summons in this short period of time. I will easily default. But for this banner, with how bad it is, with how just like uncaring and kind of lazy it feels like, again, this is anniversary, like put something different. There's not even something like, so the previous summon banners, which let me go back here. Uh, have all been amazing so far. Like, obviously, the double gala banner probably could have lasted a little bit longer. There was a gala remix, which I was not expecting because it was way faster than I would have expected. And also, there was a prize showcase, which, sure, I may not like prize showcases, but hey, because I'm unlucky with them. But for a lot of people, you could potentially get a lot of cool stuff. That's all very well and good. To be honest, I would actually would have preferred all those summons get a day more than having to deal with this banner for 11 days like at most i think this banner should be a week and those extra five days should be it should have been given to regina they should have been given to sandalfin they should have been given to zena they should have been given to the zena and bahamut banner they should have been given to that if you want to just like look at it that way then i think like honestly for this banner for how bad it is compared to those three other banners it is insane that this is the longest banner we've had with regina i think being 10 days perfectly fine length the galadragalia not being very long and i think it was like about a week which is pretty long for a galadragalia actually and gala remix only lasting three days because it's a gala remix sure didn't last very long and then those and then those units that were not immediately featured in the next one except for basilis because he is a wind unit and he is on this banner but he's not featured but you know i digress so you have all that the other thing i think they could have done is besides just doing one 
win showcase and doing all elements. I think they should have d just rotated, completely eliminate this banner. Start doing gala banners that are like a gala remix, but they have like other gala units in it. Like there's plenty of gala units that some people specifically just want and want to have a small chance at. Like for example, the gala Ellie and um, Thor, I think it was Thor, for that banner. Like no one, I wasn't caring for it, but there were plenty of people who wanted uh, gala Ellie. And then you look at all the other gala units, you got gala Mim, gala Ronzo, gala Luca. The androids, all these Galilee, so many other Galilee units and so many other Galilee dragons that I think they could have actually just put out some remixes on a day by day basis and then kind of go that way. And even if it was only like a summon or two, because it's a uh, Galilee Dragalia, you have an increased chance of at least getting your pity broken because it starts with 6%. Even if it's for a shorter amount of time, like compared to this where you're spending, I think it took an actual entire week for me to actually break pity just to get broken with a Zephyr. And then two days later, I got another Zephyr. And that's maybe why I'm actually doing the this video because I feel like if I'm getting this bad of luck, for every person that's getting like Basilisk and Cecil and all the like um kimono uh, luca all the people who are getting amazing wind units there has to be equal amount of people who are just getting absolutely nothing like i am and i think there should be at least a happy middle where even if i was getting completely screwed on a gala remix at least i said dang at least i had a chance at something with this banner i feel like i have no chance at anything there's just nothing and another thing i think that they could have potentially done is that if they didn't want to do another prize showcase because this banner obviously not worthy of a a, a prize showcase because <laughs> if it was they would have given it to it um lean into the eldwater double eldwater for summoning on this banner in which case all my complaints are gone because at least i'm going you know what it's not just regular eldwater it's full-on eldwater and i know there's some logistic problems like but what about the dragons well I think Dragalia should add an option that lets you automatically just sack all those dragons because I don't do any of that shit because I don't need any more Eldwater. I really hope I'm not mispronouncing it because I know people constantly get on my case about that. So yeah, I think that's basically all I wanted to say. It, it is very unfortunate for me having to make some of this video. I very rarely, I never, I've never done a video where I outright criticize Dragalia for something they've done. I have occasionally disagreed with something they've done, such as um, the first spiral for um, Halloween Ellie, what they did to Mega Man, and some other stuff around the way. Like what they did last year with Halloween units. Let's not even get into that, that we're about to eventually start the Halloween event and I have no idea how long that stupid banner is. Last year, that banner only lasted three days. Three days for three limiteds. Never came back. And that's insane to me that the idea of them doing that again, if we get another banner with Halloween units that are only here for three days, when they wasted 11 days on this banner. It's infuriating to think about. Because again, Dragalia very rarely messes up. Even for stuff like Worm Prince, which a lot of people, a lot of people did not like on release. I like that. It's stuff like this where I feel like they screw up the most. And I feel like this is the stuff people are most willing to give them a break on. And I feel like you can't give a break on them on this. You have to tell them specifically in a respectful way, I think you are making a mistake doing this. And if it's too late now, I'm not asking for any compensation. I'm just asking for the next time because I expect the game to be here in a year. Don't do this again. It's really not that hard. It's all I want. And I really need to say this because otherwise it's just going to bubble inside me. And I'm, I'm just going to feel this weird angst towards Jigalia for this one mess up. So instead, like I said, I already sent them feedback. They listen. So I'm not saying that you need to. I'm not going that far. I feel strongly about this. If you feel strongly against this, feel free to tell me in the comments. and I'll gladly hear your case on this. I would love to actually see your defense of why this banner is 11 days. I'm not saying it doesn't belong. I'm not saying it can't be three, four days. What I'm saying is 11 days, 11 days on this banner. Would you not have preferred 11 days, some of these days to be given to the other banners? 
I think like that's where it, it eventually just kind of breaks down for me. Is that I don't think that this banner was worthy for it to stay up for 11 days. And I would commend someone to make the case, the devil's advocate for this banner. I would love to see it. So, yeah, apologies if uh, this is uh, this video was not to your liking. I know it's very different. I try and stay positive when it comes to Dragalia, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta let some things out. So, hey, join me next time for when Dragalia does something good, which is chances are gonna be in like two, three days. Whenever they release the next banner, but I probably have some. Now that I'm a little bit less busy with some of my other stuff, I'll be able to record. I finally fixed my um, recording setup, so I'll have some other videos pretty soon, hopefully. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Till next time, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, and have a good day, depending on when you see this. Goodbye.